Today's episode is brought to you by Wireless Zone, located in Dunst Corners, Westley, Rhode Island. Wireless Zone in Westley is an authorized Verizon Realtor. There, you can find all the latest and newest phones, including the iPhone 13. And if you're in the business for a new phone, you can get up to $440 off your new phone with a trade-in of an old phone. And if you have a broken phone, they have a repair zone. There, they can help repair your cracked screen. You need a new battery. They have you covered there in the repair zone. Check out Wireless Zone in Westley, Rhode Island, located next to the Dunkin' Donuts and Dunst Corners. All right, on today's show, I welcome on a very, very special guest. He is Jermaine O'Neal Jr. He's a freshman guard, so I sport for Taka High School boys basketball team. Um, Jermaine, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? Good. How is the, the basketball season going so far down in Texas? Um, pretty good so far. Hopefully, you can go three and one tonight. Yeah, who are you guys playing tonight? Uh, St. Mark's, uh, private school out of Dallas. Nice, nice. What's been the first uh, three games like for you at, in the in the beginning early of the season? Um, just getting used to my team and um, figure out figuring out my new role with a new team. Yeah, uh, what, what team did you like? Are new teammates? Do you make any adjustment to being a freshman this year? Um, really, it's just that we're a young team. A uh, majority of us are sophomores and freshmen, so it's just really learning how to play play the game yeah what's it like to to like develop that chemistry with those guys um it's it's kind of hard because i mean all of us kind of want to shoot the ball a lot but we're starting to learn how to pass the ball and um get each other open nice that that's that's great and like how long so what's it now i just want to ask because up here in Rhode Island and New England, our, our seasons run a little differently. What, how, how long do you, your guys' seasons run for? Like, how many games do you play in a regular season? Um, we play about uh, 25 to 35 games, and um, it'll end around beginning of March. Mm-hmm. Wow. Holy crap. So that's a lot of games. Where's, now, where is the state championship game? Um, we're, at, we're not UIL, so yeah. we have to play under um, another um, – organization I, I don't know what it's called but um it's in austin texas then we play for nationals in uh, tennessee in march okay oh nice that's awesome that's that's really that's really cool so uh does your team travel besides outside of texas you play other teams outside of texas mm-hmm. yeah we played a team from arizona two weekends ago we traveled to colorado tennessee um i believe arizona and a few other places cool what's it like to just get that traveling and play the those basketball teams um, I mean, it's really normal because, I mean, I played AAU, but a lot of colleges look at us since we're a young team traveling around the country. Yeah, that, that's that's really cool. They get the, those looks from the colleges. And you, you said you experienced that with AAU. Well, how was the AAU season traveling? I mean, it's our, your video new era of yourself, like you guys played in Las Vegas. What what's it been like traveling with the AAU season? Um, we didn't travel that much, but when we did, it was pretty fun. Like Vegas, we were there for a week, played nine games. I believe we won it all, but we finished the season. I ranked, um, third, I believe in the country. Oh, wow. That's, that's crazy. Uh, and what, uh, you know, what was it been like to your dad coached you during the AU season? What's it like to learn from your dad and have your dad as a coach? I can see how big of a difference he was to like normal coaches, just how, uh, much knowledge he has about the game and then how much uh, he's helped me in the past yeah yeah I mean your dad obviously being played in the, for the listeners that don't know uh, Jermaine's dad played in the NBA played with the Indiana Pacers for a while um, for all the New England fans he used to kill the Celtics a bunch of times in the playoffs as a big rivalry so that's cool that you had your dad as a coach I saw him and what he did uh, in that video and like how he coached and stuff like that and how has it felt? I, I know you received one Division One offer. How does it feel to start to receive the, some offers from Division um, One and college scholar schools? It feels great to know like my work has been paying off because this last summer, I really just flipped the switch, started working out like three times a day, really just locked in. 
where did that switch come from? You worked out three, you're working out three times a day. Where did this all come from? Um, really just myself. My dad didn't really want me working out that much, but I just took it on myself just to get in the gym as much as I could. Wow. That's crazy. So what do you do in those three workouts? Are you like lifting one time? Are you shooting another time? What, what do you do? Uh, I'll normally do lifting and conditioning. Then I'll do a normal just ball handling workout, work on stuff I need to. Then uh, sh I shoot. Then I may go back and do just a normal workout. Again. Wow. That's crazy. So that's crazy that the mindset. So what time do you get up in the morning to get start the workouts? Um, I normally get up at like eight because I'm homeschooled. So okay. Nice. That's, that's great. So you get up at eight, you work out and you're, you're homeschooled. So that, that, that works out well. How much food do you eat? Because I, I'm sure with all the working out, I'm sure you're burning a ton of calories. Yeah. So I'm on a, a diet, but I eat normally like four meals a day. Really? Really? So what kind of, like, uh, what kind of diet are you on? Um, it's not really a certain type. It's just, um, doctors like tested my sweat and, um, hair follicles for stuff I need in my body. So it's just custom for myself. Wow, that's that's interesting. I should I should go on one of those. I don't know. I need to do something getting that that winter weight. <laughs> and I want to know where did the idea for the episodes of the new era come up with? I thought it was really cool to watch and see like the AAU season and just beginning to work out for the basketball season. So where did that idea come from? Um, my dad just thought of it during the summer. Um, cause, uh, one of his old players, RJ Hampton, he had one with overtime. So my dad just thought about it and just went with the idea. That's cool. And what's that experience like, you know, being on film and being on mic'd up during a game? Um, at first it was just kind of different. That's really the best way I can explain it. Yeah. But, um, after I got used to it, it's just, it just became pretty normal. Yeah. When you're mic'd up during a game, do you have to like be careful what you say? Um, no, I don't uh, I don't really like talk that much. Like yeah. if I talk, I'm telling my teammate to go somewhere or something a lot like that. Nice. That that's great. And so you your, yourself, you could go on any journey and go anywhere you wanted to, but you chose basketball as a path. Where did the passion for basketball come from? I know it's from your dad, but was there another part of you that you just really enjoyed that much? Um, to be honest, I didn't really start playing basketball until like my fifth grade year. I just didn't really enjoy it. I always loved football. But um, really, it just came to me when my dad uh, retired, came back home because he always spent so much time away. So I just didn't really enjoy basketball just for those reasons. Oh, wow. That's, that's interesting. So when you picked it up, when did you in the fifth grade did you start taking it seriously or when did you really just start to take it seriously really my eighth grade year is when I started like working out consistently and um pushing myself so that was like about the time you knew that this is something you really wanted to do yeah uh, that's that's awesome that's really cool and now what's it like too because I know having the junior added to your your name and having the same name as your father is there a pressure on that or like or do you not feel that pressure um at some points it is a lot of pressure but um I'm starting to get used to it so I mean it's, it's not that it's not that bad okay that's good that's good I was wondering you too because I see it a lot and I've heard players talk about it but like do you ever like do you ever reach out to like any other NBA play like I don't know if you have connection like your dad picks you up but any other players that have like the same name as their dads like do, any, do you speak to any of those for any like for stuff like that for advice or no um no, I don't really reach out to them for stuff like that. Yeah, that, uh, that's that's good. Well, it's awesome that you're able to create your own path and you're starting to get a lot of notice at the, at the basketball level. Uh, when I want to know, too, when did you get your first in-game dunk? Um, I want to say or on my birthday, actually. On your I birthday? Got, yeah, um, so June 20th. Nice. So, so you were, I'm assuming it was an AU game. Mm, yeah. What was it? Was you on a fast break? Just put it back. What happened? Oh yeah. I, I was just on a fast break and everyone was yelling for me to go dunk it. Cause it was up by like 40. So I just tried it and I got a two hand. <laughs> nice. Nice. What's it been like too? Because your jumping ability looks like it's increased like from 
the AU Summer League to like now because I saw a video of you dunk put put a put back dunk back with ease. So what's it, what's it been like for you to get to where that is? Um, it mainly came with like my strength and conditioning coaches. Um, at the beginning of the year or summer, I'm pretty sure my vertical was like 32, and right now it's a uh, 37 and a half. Nice, nice. That's 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 great. That's awesome. Good for you, man, because you worked hard and obviously all the hard work is paying off and which I'm sure you're going to be a household name that we're going to hear for a while in the in the future and on the high school circuit and going into colleges and, and the pros. But I want to ask just some fun questions for the listeners to get to know you just kind of switch up a little bit. Um, I want to know what is your favorite food? My favorite food is steak or Alfredo. Steak Alfredo. That's a good choice. Those are good choices. Uh, Texas has good steak, by the way. Uh, mm. <laughs> yeah, very, very good steak. Do you have a favorite place to eat down there? Um, Perry Steakhouse. Perry Steakhouse. Where wh- is that? Where is that? And that? Uh, Grapevine, Texas. Oh, okay. Oh, why did I never go there before? I'm pretty <laughs> sure it, it's pretty new. Is it pretty new? All right. Mm. Yeah. All right. Um, do you have a favorite NBA team? Um, the Golden State Warriors. I've been a fan of them since my dad played with them in 2012, 2013. Oh, wow. Yep. Yep. And then do you have a favorite player? Uh, Giannis. Giannis. He's just a beast. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. So good. What do you think about the Warriors this year and how they like just turned it around? Um, they're like the perfect example. Them and the Suns just for like a perfect team. They don't have a bunch of superstars. Really got one, two players then just got a great supporting cast around them. Yeah. I think those like, not like the two years that were Steph and Clef Clay didn't really play. The younger guys got that experience to kind of like help them out now with they're like a deep team. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And then what about now who wins the most one-on-one games you or your dad? Um, Him. I haven't played him in a long time. Um, I mainly just play my, um, my uh, god brother because he lives with me now and he's like 6'10 so i normally just play him oh my god that's crazy you guys are also tall. i feel like texas the like players are so tall down there mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> it's uh it's crazy uh and then what is your favorite thing to do outside of basketball um i'd say uh just hang out with friends to be honest it's not really one certain thing i like to do Nice. No, that's good. That's that's always good to do that. And then uh, do you have any goals for yourself for the up for this upcoming season or team goals as well? Um, personal goals are get at least top 50 in the country by the end of the year. Um, have about five D1 offers by the end of the year. And that's mainly my goals for me. I want to get a Texas offer. Oh, nice. That, oh, very, very nice. Uh, get get uh, Coach Beard to reach out. Mm, yeah. <laughs> there you go. So also like working at your dad has Drive Nation. What's it like to work out there and being having that facility? Um, it's just great because, I mean, I have cold tub, hot tub, um, Norma Tech, uh, weight room, uh, football field, court. So, I mean, I'm always in the gym. It helps me just always work on my game. That's that's great. That's awesome. And then do you uh, what was it like last year, too, for playing last season during COVID? What was it like down there in Texas? Um, it wasn't really that different. Um, in Texas, there really weren't any rules that we had to follow. So, I mean, it was just a normal tournaments for us. Oh, nice. That's that's great. Well, well, Jermaine, that's all the questions I have for you. Do you have any questions, comments or anything for me? Um, no, I don't think so. All right. That's, that's great. Well, it's been great to have you on the show. Good luck with everything, man. So great to, uh, you know, to speak with you and, uh, you know, good luck for the rest of the season. I'm sure, like I said, you're going to be a name that we're going to be hearing on the college circuit and hopefully in the professional level. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck with the season. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No problem. Uh,